and the FBI announcing that an original Opie painting was stolen in July of 1969 from the owner, Dr. Wood, out of Newark, New Jersey. Well, this 1784 painting was discovered in St. George more than 50 years after it was stolen. Our ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Garrett James has the story today. On July 7th, 1969, an attempted burglary of Dr. Wood's home in New Jersey took place, but thanks to an alarm system, the alleged mobsters were scared off. Then, less than three weeks later, the same mobsters returned and stole an Ope original 18th century painting called The School Mistress. The FBI said that the painting was recently found here in St. George. The backstory on this case is that after the painting was stolen in 1969, it completely disappeared and nobody knew where it went. We have uh, no idea where it was. Uh, all we have is the statements that were given in federal court that it was um, taken by these four men and then moved, obviously, based on the pressures of, of law enforcement. And we have no indications of where that painting was between 1969 and, and the 80s. That is until the late 1980s when the painting unknowingly resurfaced in a convicted mobster's home. Joseph Cavello Sr., his Florida residence was liquidated and was purchased by an individual who did not know this painting was stolen. Um, I, I learned that uh, Mr. Cavello was indicted uh, by the FBI. Uh, it was part of a, a larger RICO investigation along the East Coast related to racketeering and gambling. And he was one of the individuals uh, indicted, uh, arrested, charged and convicted in that crime. So the individual who purchased the home the painting was in unknowingly had a stolen piece of artwork with him. Then at one point, the individual who bought the home moved to St. George, where he passed away in 2020. That is when their property was being liquidated and the painting was discovered to be stolen after it was being inspected at an auction. This is when the painting was turned over to the FBI and the FBI has returned the painting to the Wood family. I was able to fly out and along with uh, the assistance of the Newark FBI, we delivered the painting directly to uh, Dr. Francis in his home. And uh, we were thrilled to have his four children uh, in attendance and we were able to unveil the painting and and, and show it to, to him. And, and I've been told that um, since our departure, they've hung that on the wall. Um, and uh, Dr. Francis enjoys it on a daily basis. This painting was returned to the family after being gone for over 50 years in a two year investigation by the FBI. In Southern Utah, Garrett James, ABC4 News.